Hello everyone, Jeff here, stuck in the house, like so many of us. People have asked what I miss most about performing at a time like this, and of course there are so many possible answers. But for me, there's a small, personal aspect of the acting process which I'm definitely feeling the absence of right now. Because when I'm doing a play, it is often the most stimulating part of my day. What I'm talking about is that little period of time prior to curtain when I cease to be myself and gradually open the door to becoming another person entirely. It starts with breath. To begin the transformation, I simply reduce myself to the most simple of entities, a, a sitting, breathing human being. That is the foundation on which all characterization is built. And what does that look like, you ask? Well, simply like this. but not on this occasion, as I think the idea is fairly easily grasped. It's a necessary step, though. I guess it's a bit like when Anna Olson bakes cakes and cookies on the Food Network. Every single recipe begins with first cream together butter and sugar and then add eggs. <laughs> Absolutely essential, but it's never going to make good television. So, uh, where were we? Or maybe, who am I? Well, I, I think it helps to have a specific character in mind as I uh, demonstrate this, and I've chosen one of my favorites. He is the Austrian horn player Ingo Frusfeld, who I've played twice in Stuart Lemoyne's On the Banks of the Nut. Uh, Ingo is a, a very passionate character and also very articulate. The first aspect is less of a challenge, to be honest, so preparing to hold forth in an Austrian accent for two hours quickly becomes the main focus of my preparation. To do this, I employ a verbal exercise which I've specially constructed for this character. It's built on the names of four great European sopranos of the 20th century who all happen to be called Erna. That's E-R-N-A, Erna. Basic dramatic sounds come into play here, but there's also a musical anchor. Erna Burger, Erna Sack, Erna Burger, Erna Sack. Both fine artists. Erna Berger sounded as fresh at 50 as she did at 25, and Erna Sack could sing a high C above high C. Let, let's, let's listen. <clears throat> Top earner of the earners, not surprisingly. <laughs> earn a burger, earn a sack. Earn a burger, earn a sack. Earn a burger, earn a burger, earn a sack, sack, sack. <laughs> burger is, of course, spelled with an E rather than a U. It's really the same name as the character on Sex and the City, the one who broke up with Carrie on a post-it note, <laughs> which was appalling. Earn a burger, earn a burger, earn a sack, earn a sack, earn a schluter, earn a burger, earn a sack, earn a sack. <laughs> okay, there's another Erna. And she was the loud one, loudest of the earners. Did a lot of Wagner, also Electra. She made her Met debut in 1947, suffering from the effects of a cold, and the critics weren't kind. <laughs> um, Miss Schluter's voice was perhaps in its prime a fine one, but in its present estate it falls shatteringly on the ear, for it is so diffusely projected that it was often difficult to be sure of the note the soprano was aiming for. Beyond doubt or peradventure, the worst impersonator of the title role in our considerable experience of the opera. <laughs> you may wonder why I have these reviews handy. Well, um, it, it, uh, it always helps to have a little perspective when you're, you're reading your own, right? <laughs> Could be worse. Could have got schlutered. <laughs> yeah. Earn a schluter, earn a burger, earn a sack, earn a sack, earn a burger, earn a schluter, earn a schluter, burger, sack. Sack, sack, schluter, burger, burger, schluter, sack, sack, schluter, burger, schluter, burger, sack, burger, sack. <laughs> Does anyone remember why I'm doing this? Ernest Sporenberg. Ernest Sporenberg. Yeah, there's another one. Ernest Spurenberg, a Belgian lady with a very lovely voice. The most lyrical of Walloons and the longest named of the Ernas also. Uh, I've made a printout so that you can see the spelling for yourselves. <laughs> uh, I guess I, uh, I didn't quite get that right. <laughs> ah, but we're behind in our preparations. So let's set these distinguished ladies aside and assume I'm all warmed up now. The last thing I do before I slip into my tux, is to play some of the music my character loves as I speak some of his lines, uh, just, to, just to make sure that everything's working together. <clears throat> it 
So what did we talk about? Well, Marla, of course, and all the things I knew about the symphony which we had just played. The degree to which it is an examination of what nature tells us. What the meadow flowers say and the forest creatures and the night itself and then the morning bells. He tells us how the creative spring of life overcomes all hindrances in order to delight in beauty and... Well, that really opens up a door at a time like this, doesn't it? Nonetheless, I think we're all warmed up and good to go. Thanks for the visit. Auf Wiedersehen.